Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, if I say good morning, y'all got to say it back, especially when I be, don't be no. Okay, there y'all go talk to me. Good morning, sunshine. Who is that? Sharon? Somebody just went out so fast. Now, this thing moving fast over there. Y'all see my eyeball? Good Friday morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I be so loud. Look like Karen smiled over there. Say good morning. Good morning, little book. Good morning. Let's make my day. Okay, we just get we giving us some updates. We get we gotta, gotta catch y'all back up on the updates. Okay, let me get my drink, and I'll be ready. Oh, good morning, blessed morning from Grandma Judy. Hey, Grandma. Hold on, let me get my drink. Yeah, I know I gotta have that drink in the morning. Stop playing. Alright. And y'all ain't seen me on this floor in a minute. But I got on the floor this morning. Alright. Now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what we're gonna. Ooh, today Friday. Let me see. I think we stopped probably at. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ting. I think we probably stopped at um, my doctor's appointment because y'all don't know what happened at the doctor's appointment. And then, that was my primary care doctor. Oh, good morning, cousin. Good morning, grandma. I think I got a sister over there, too. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to y'all, too. But we on YouTube, too, this morning. We on YouTube this morning. Good morning. Okay, so we're doing updates this morning. So, y'all seen what well, I went to the dentist, but we're going to get back to that too because I got to tell y'all what happened. But, so, we didn't know. My blood pressure was high for my primary care um, appointment. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Zena. Hey, Tina. Carolyn. Gwen. Okay, so I tried to give y'all a little break, and I ain't gonna laugh. I think like, what it's been like two days. I ain't trying to give y'all a break. I was trying to give myself a break because my blood pressure was up high, and I went to my primary care doctor, but I had not took no blood pressure pill in probably over a week or some cause. <laughs> Cause uh my head would hurt. I was all right. I thought I was all right. They took it two times. Cause the first time they didn't want to write it down. And so she said, Well, let's start over and, and take it again. And so we took it again. It was still high. So I told them I I'm gonna start back taking it. So for the last two days, I've been back on my blood pressure pills, trying to get my um Blood pressure uh, back leveled out because y'all know this is a big uh, weekend, which we're going to get to that next too. Okay, so 
That was basically all that my primary care doctor, y'all know. They just do my regular checkups, all that, whatever, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Now, boom. Lonzo had a dentist appointment, and I had told y'all, I said, Lonzo got a dentist appointment today. So when we went to the dentist appointment, they were the same dentist where well, I had went months ago. And so, I remember, at that point, I couldn't get um, I couldn't get my mouth open enough for them to put my put that thing in there, or whatever, for my X-ray or whatever. Because I wanted my teeth clean so bad after them wires and um, rubber band things had came. I never remember. I kept telling y'all, I don't know how y'all wear them braces. I would never uh, wear no braces. So they tried to send me to a specialist. That's how I, that time when I seen the CAT scan, that's why I thought I was going to the dentist. But I got slapped in the face with the skeleton man. Okay. So, boom, Lonzo sitting in the chair. So, I asked the lady, I was like, um, when you get through uh, doing his x-rays and stuff like that, I said, could y'all check, could you check and see if my mouth will open wide enough? Um, and if it open wide enough, then I just make me another appointment. And so, she was like, sure, sure, sure. But when she did and it opened wide enough, she was like, oh, well, I got time enough to clean you today. So I was like, oh, I was so happy, right? So I will, hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all something. <laughs> y'all remember these right here? The little bags they give y'all. I was so happy, y'all. Leave me alone. I was so happy. I was so happy. I, I had got my uh teeth cleaning so the same day. Um and also had got his teeth cleaning stuff. So you know how they be like uh teeth number one or number twenty. You know how them numbers they be having and I ain't I ain't even got private twenty teeth or whatever cause um, yeah, I know pills take the enamel off your teeth. I'm just telling you. Mm -mm. They in the back. And it was so crazy. Because when I was taking pills, I had my teeth. When I stopped taking pills, they started crumbling up. It's just the craziest thing, Lord Jesus. I understand, but anyway. So check this out in the back. In the back. Listen, so. Okay, so they so she said she had to get in touch. She had to get the head person in there because there's a teeth on my right side that need to be. She said it need to be pulled. It got a big cavity in. It. So she said, um, "Is it is it hurting you or do it bother you?" So I said, "No, nah, that's the side that I don't uh, really feel nothing on because." Y'all yeah, know I still can't feel on this side. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't bother me. So, you know, they go came and they went to talking. They didn't talk. And all that sitting right there. And so I heard the lady say that because they were asking me what doctor was I up under who performed my surgeries and all that. So I was telling her. And so she was like, well, we're going to have to get in touch with your um, surgical doctor. And she asked me, had I been released? And I said, I don't know if I've been released or not. Shit, they ain't did that. You know, I, it, it ain't it ain't funny. It just be happy coming out. They ain't did that. Since I came home, they ain't did that. I don't know if I'm released or not. Yeah, they don't know what to do. So I don't know. I should. Am I still up under them doctors there? Cause they didn't, I ain't got no another appointment. So anyway, so I, so boom, I hear her say, because I need to um, make sure you cleared or get in touch with your surgical doctor, because if we pull that teeth, the pressure might break your jaw again. 
Wait, wait. Let me tell you what I told. I said, man. I said, don't even worry. You ain't gotta call him. You ain't gotta call no backs. <laughs> Break my jaw again. And uh, huh? Uh, no, ma'am. That 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 that. I felt that. That was the hurt. And I told that it took two days, two days for my pain level to get back out. You don't need to call him. You you talking to me. We ain't going to worry about that teeth. That teeth ain't bothering me, and I ain't finna bother it. It's going to sit there to, to fall out on his own. It's just going to sit there because I don't feel it. It ain't bothering me, but they like I said, pressure from pulling my teeth could break my jaw. Bone. What kind of work they gonna be doing in there that's doing all that, I guess. I don't know. But I told them, don't, don't even worry about that. So we ain't gonna worry about that. So we know I got a teeth on my right side. They got a cavity in it. Uh, it's, up, it's up top to that thing. But um, they was they was gonna um, need permission or a clear letter, you know, clear from doctor from them to do the perform to pull my teeth. I ain't never heard of such. And I said, baby, if you gonna be putting that much pressure on my mouth, then um, you don't need to even be messing with my mouth because I I know it took all that to be pulling the teeth anyway. Where they do that at? Pressure from pulling a teeth. No, stop laughing. See, y'all don't, y'all see, my nation be too, y'all be too silly. I'm for pressure from pulling a teeth can break your job. So that didn't sit well. So we passed that. We ain't even gonna worry about that. So we go back in six months to get our teeth cleaned again or whatever. So that was that was, that was the update for that because that's dead. Okay, now today is Friday. Yeah, I know Lord on them. I already played their last football game. I know they like, y'all ain't still laughing. Stop. Yeah, forget it, baby. I don't, I don't even feel it. I don't even feel the teeth. You think you're going to come playing in my, baby, my own feel we, we ain't got no problems. None of that. I ain't never heard of that. But then I guess they they do. I guess that's what that pressure, when they numb or whatever, I guess that's that pressure when they go to. I don't know, but uh, and then this at the regular doctor. I mean, the regular dentist that they don't put you to sleep at, so they just can give you a little numbing uh, medicine. Now, the one that they have referred me to, they folks is still laughing. I'm going to talk to these people over here. These, these y'all serious on YouTube. Butterfly Nation, they just they just love playing, just like me. They love playing, but I'm being serious. And then I need somebody on here that know how to draw or sketch. I, I, I got something finished. I got to hit you with this. Because, okay, listen. And, and y'all let me know if y'all know somebody on here. If y'all could draw or sketch or paint or whatever. Y'all let, y'all let me know. I got something for y'all in one second. But I guess, let me finish talking about this tea. So I guess that you know how to, when they put that pressure on you. I still can't make it make sense. I don't know. It just don't make no sense. Okay. So we ain't gonna worry about the teeth. Oh, that's what I was saying about the just the regular doctor. So remember they had referred me to a specialist who could put me to sleep when my mouth went open wide enough. But um the specialist um uh, folks to put me to sleep, put me to sleep was gonna be seven hundred dollars, and somebody told it. So he said it. I said, "Don't you worry about that neither. Don't you worry about that neither. We are gonna cancel that out too. We are gonna cancel that out too. Don't worry about a thing." So 
we ain't do, we we ain't doing that with that tea. That's the conclusion. We ain't we ain't worried about that tea. We do with that. All right. Now, um, I had Lazo. Lazo when I guess Lazo went to talk to you what I said. What we were talking about about uh, Jesus having hair like wool. And they still was tripped out, right? So y'all know I talked to church. I had to break stuff down on they level and stuff like like that and stuff like this. So one of the little boys came up to the truck laughing and play. Oh, I got the other cop uh back, y'all. So congratulations. Thank you, Jesus. So the transmission is put in it. So okay, so this the other dude, one is the homeboys came to the car, right? So he was like, uh, Ma, Lonzo said, you said Jesus was black. I said, I ain't said Jesus was black. I said, I said Jesus had had like, well, I said, but now if y'all want to be uh, Pacific about it, you know what I'm saying? So I was talking about uh, how they were talking about his skin was bronze, you know, of a um, brownish looking cup. I was talking about his hair. And then y'all know how they say um like bell bottoms and all that stuff was in style in the old days and then it come back around. Like don't they get old. Okay. So y'all know them little sponges that they use for their nappy hair, for their hair when they be natural and stuff like that. So I said, um, I said they said Jesus had hair like uh wool. And stuff. So I said he probably was using a sponge back then. Y'all ain't know about it. You know what I'm saying? They say his eyes were uh, fiery red, and I I think it has some orange. And I don't know. I can't don't don't quote me on that part now. But I know they were red like that. And so remember we were talking about the picture of the last supper, right? So this why I need uh um a sketch artist because see they've been misled and they think that i am really really playing and then it say jesus had 12 disciples then so i think that uh I, I think it need to be a new a new millennium picture of jesus made I think it need to be a new millennium uh, last supper picture. Cause, and then y'all know the disciples went all the way right, right? So, but they rode with Jesus. And so I think that, uh, I think, I think we need to, to do a picture of the new millennium Jesus, how they describe him in the Bible. And then, the, and with the, the with the wool of hair, we're gonna put we're gonna let him sponge it out though first. We're gonna sponge it out. And then with the with the brown colored skin. And then when they sitting at the table, or the, the disciples, and see then you know no children, so I went to messing with them by game. You know? <laughs> I said they were it, 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 Jesus he, he, well, he was a disciple. He ain't saying nothing about no bloods and crooks and stuff. He was a disciple. So they need to have all black dicky suits, six on the left and six on the right. And then have Jesus in the middle with his uh his his hair. And he was tall and he was bright. And I I I say I, Jesus was probably fine too. So I think it need to be um I think it need to be a new picture come out of uh the real the, the real way they describe things in these days in the back in them day. That that's what I really, really think. You can't wait to see that. I'm for real. Anybody don't here know how to. I'm anybody don't here know how to draw. 
Anybody don't even know how to sketch. And don't and let, and don't try to take my idea and run with it. And when and when y'all see it come coming out, don't try to um uh, think it was a game, I'm for real, because people been misled all these years. And so somebody made that picture of Jesus and it just carried on and carried on. But it need to be the, the, the real thing and the right thing that was close enough to it. And I think that that's, that's what what's going on. So if you know how to draw or sketch or something, I am not playing. I, I be laughing. I can't look at y'all because y'all be laughing too much. But I'm serious because uh, a lot of people been misled even by the image of um, of what they even much described. I, I believe that for real. But uh, now they were just laughing when I was saying put on the black dick suits but that, 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 that's what's wrong. That's that's true. Put the black dick suits on. They say he was a disciple. They disciples. Ain't that what they call it? Black. <laughs> exactly. See that? I know I don't be tripping. I'm so glad I got some 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 people. Amen and with me. Now I start laughing, baby, because the day ran red. And that went blue. And so, and, and, and that's how gangs got affiliated. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, gee, wait a minute. This is my first time watching. Wait a minute. Hi, my first time watching your live. You look amazing from North Carolina. Okay. Uh, Judah, 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 Koshi. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for tuning in. And I'm glad uh, that you found me on your timeline. Yeah, welcome. Uh, I forgot what your name is. I got ready to pronounce. We're going to call you JK. JK, y'all welcome, JK. Oh, yeah, and from the other morning, the little baby, she did not uh, embarrass me. And um, out of them two people or so, only one person sent their address. And I guess y'all know who it was, but I sent that stuff up the same day, so I can't tell you who it was. I think it was the birthday lady, though. No, I know it wasn't the birthday lady. It was the one who had got the Ephesians chapter right. It was the one who had got the verse right. I apologize. That's who it was. But, um, so that's all we, um, okay, so today is Friday. I have, um, 11 o'clock appointment. Now, y'all help me out here. This, this was going on. Y'all know it's classic weekend in Birmingham. I've been told y'all that. And then Sunday is the event. Sunday is the event. So services, church service is going to be held at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. And then we'll be releasing service around 12. So I'm not going to be um, in the service this Sunday or um, the choir because I'm going to be outside ripping and running. Oh, this your first time to Ida Cabella? Ka, no, Cabella Rowe. Oh, well, we got two. We got two. We got two new viewers this morning. Oh, now I got to talk to about business. Okay, we got two new viewers this morning. Um, why y'all not getting y'all notifications? Y'all got to go on the profile thing, hit the three buttons, and push follow. Follow y'all not following me no more. That's why y'all not getting y'all notifications. So, for the Facebook people, 
you have to go on the butterfly nation, hit the two buttons, and then hit the three black dot buttons, and then or manage or whatever, and y'all have to push. Uh, Rosalind Moore, this lady said, it's not my first time, but you never shout me out. I apologize. I apologize. I am so sorry. Rosalind Moore, I love you, sister. I am so sorry. I never mean to overlook nobody, but I be talking, and I and it just when I look down, I say something. So I apologize, Miss Rosalind Moore. I'm so glad you stay tuned, and please don't charge it to my heart. Don't charge it to my heart. I love you. You love me with everything, and I love you with everything. I love you, sister, and welcome to the Butterfly Nation. Okay, now what part we was on? Yes, welcome to the Butterfly Nation. Oh, you be on my YouTube page. I hardly ever, ever, ever be on YouTube, but I'm trying to um, get better with those, with that. But I'm still stuck with uh, Facebook because they were my first original family. And I just feel more comfortable telling them because they been riding the fire. And who is laughing? Mary Luckery. Yeah, so I'm trying to get um, familiar with y'all on YouTube. I apologize. I've been saying that for months and months, but I still go straight to Facebook when I get ready to talk. Uh, this is that lady that I can't pronounce her name, JK. I didn't want to say it was my first time watching your life. I've been watching your life from the beginning, and I know you didn't see me comment to you, but I'm so glad that you're doing well. You're doing well, and I am from North Carolina, and I've been watching you since the beginning, North Carolina. Well, thank you. Thank you for keeping in touch with me. Thank y'all for y'all prayers. Thank y'all for um, thinking about me. Thank y'all for y'all gifts. Thank y'all for y'all popsicles. Thank y'all for everything that y'all have done for me on this journey and just continue to keep me and my family in y'all prayers. But I thank you all for everything that y'all have done. And I never, never mean to overlook anybody. Never mean to look over anybody. And if I have, I apologize. And to the people that I don't shout out, it's nothing personal, I promise you. I just don't, uh, I just can't see everything. Oh, Zena trying to do a $5 cash app challenge for the file fest. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be good if I, uh, challenge time. Oh, yeah, that one y'all send the stars, ain't it? Remember, I got into it. I told the lady, I said, I ain't asked for no. She tried to do a $2 challenge for something. And I said, I ain't asked uh, for no uh, $2. Don't be uh, talking about I asked for nothing. Let me put my thing up, though. But let me see. Oh, I learned how to write comment. I mean, pen comments. I thought, let me see. I'm telling them that. Because all of this was new uh, to me. Wait a minute. Okay. There you go. There you go, thing. Okay. Cuz I love your nail. Oh, thank you. It was sad. Oh, yeah. Then that's another question. This is just a, a little question. We just talking, uh, especially y'all ladies. Okay, I got a hair appointment at 11. So, oh, school's out down here, too. 
So Lonzo gets a chance to sleep in. So um, I got to have one at 11, y'all. And I told y'all, Denisha helped me pick out a color when we went to the beauty supply store. So I am going to color from all this gray. But um, y'all think I should get my hair retwisted in a, in a style or um, get some braids? Because the lady said she can braid. Uh, oh, with my dreads. Oh, I know we are snapping on the um uh, YouTube, baby. She done did a ten dollar. Wait a minute, baby. What's going on? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'm finna try this, but I don't know about YouTube, baby. I, don't, I ain't tried to pin it over here on y'all thing. Do y'all even know my cash out? See, I can't. I don't know how to do that on this one. But if you do, then uh, do it, puppy, Miss Ida. Miss Ida, you know how to do it. And you just not coming to the Butterfly Nation. You showing out. You been watching me, but baby, when you said something, you start. You, you when you start talking, you you talking. But I don't know how to do it over here, boo. Um, uh, you not put my cash up up there. I don't know either. But it's up there. It's up there at the top where you did it. But it's new beginnings. One ninety. Thank you so much. You are a blessing to so many with your mama too. Okay. Um retwist my own hair. Okay. Twist, twist, twist. I got y'all. Y'all thought I forgot on bet. Wait a minute, who hope to see me this weekend, baby? Y'all gonna be in Birmingham. We gonna see each other. Ain't no hope, nothing. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Good, I done started back eating the popsicle. Sandra, I done started back eating the popsicle. My oh, Lord Jesus. I went to the doctor. I got gained 12 more pounds. I said, shoot. I thought I was, I was still at, look, I thought I was still at 190. My little fat boy gonna have to lay down and go to sleep, sleep at night time instead of walking and eating at night time. But I ain't even stop eating. Nothing I eat. I like to eat and it be good. That's my happy spot for y'all that didn't catch on when Gangsta Granny told y'all that. When I be eating, I be in my happy spot. That's my happy spot. I love food. It made me happy. And I love to cook too. So when I'm in my kitchen, um, things are well. But when I'm going through a depressed or something like that, I ain't gonna be eating or cooking. I told y'all when I went through my Great Depression after they had bust my shop and stuff, I um I was right here the size of Denisha. And y'all know how little she is. All right. What y'all to me? Retwist your own hair. Okay, so I don't know if I want me to get no braid. Man, dog. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's okay, my butt black queen. I would like to meet you. Miss Ross, you gonna be in Birmingham, boo? I'm probably going to tailgate tomorrow in the daytime. In the daytime. And then, because the game is tomorrow. I told you guys, Alabama State versus Alabama A&M. We always sit on the side with Alabama A&M because my two aunts went to A&M. My two aunts, they had stayed in um, Atlanta. But I told you, one of them moved here when I, got, when I went to prison to get my kids and keep them all together because my grandma was too old. And so um, that's when I called Hater. 
and she's still here. And she ain't going, don't look, she's going back. But she all right. She is a hater, though. But, uh, yeah. So we used to sit on Alabama A and I'm sad because that's what school they went to. Hi, man. Dog, everybody want me to do my bread here. Who, who, uh oh, oh, where it, where it, I got me one person, and this is my grandma. They say my grandma thinks I should try brave. Oh, grandma, you know what? You got a lot of wisdom. Grandma older, she got a lot of wisdom. So oh, I might have to take her coming into consideration. Grandma. Okay, I got me two. I got me two for the braids. I got me two for the braids. I got two for the braids. I got two for the braids and 50 for the twist. I don't know what it's going to be, but I know this great fit to move out the way. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all this real, real fast. And then we're going to be getting up out of here. Unless y'all just want to keep talking to me because I, I can't mess with Lonzo right now. I'm going to let him sleep this morning. Grandma, Grandma, what? 81. That's right, Grandma. That's right. Grandma, you got so much. Grandma got some good sense, too. It's a blessing you still here to tell me what, how I need to do my hair, what you think of it. Grandma, I believe you, Grandma. Yeah, Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> but, uh, it was a comment, because like I told you, I remember I'll be on the YouTube for real, right? So I would read in the comments, because it don't be many, y'all. So one lady had said, um, Ebony, um, I just admire your strength. And then she was like, you are so strong and brave. And then she had put some little emojis or whatever. And she was like, and you are really brave to come on um, national TV and take your wig out. <laughs> she said that take a lot of strength. <laughs> well, sisters, off again. I just didn't take it off on the thing, but y'all know we done had them days too, baby. It don't be nice. It don't be now. It don't be now. But I got a lot of great. So uh, Denisha helped me pick this color. Oh, but then what I was saying about the tailgating. Uh, they already out there. You know, they put up their little cap, camps and RVs and all that. Y'all know what tailgating is. And they cook and um, have your little drinks and have your somewhere to sit down and all that or whatever. So I said I might go... Uh, Saturday because it'll be in the daytime with the um, sun and stuff out. And by the nighttime and all that, I don't want all that whooping on my face because I got slapped in my face yesterday when I peeped at the door. I peeped at the door and the wind came around the corner and said, Pow. I said, ooh, that's why I put the hat on. <laughs> And I had that long wig on. The hell with the blowing, I put in the hell. The wind with the blowing, I put in the hell. <laughs> oh, Lord, they said I play too many. But okay, so I might tailgate in the daytime. Don't plan on going to no clubs, no parties afterwards. And then, like I said, I got to be at the church Sunday morning by nine, where well, they have nine o'clock service, but. I had to get all that little stuff set up and situated because the event is actually um, Sunday. One of the flies said 11 and one said 12, but y'all know it got to be set up when and everything got to be decent and in order by the time church over with. And so I think that's it. I gave y'all um, the updates. So, um, and then I will try to go live out there on um, tailgating so y'all can see what's going on in Birmingham. And anybody in Birmingham, like y'all said, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. 
Oh, it was Monica Summer here. Okay, Monica Summer here. Invite me so I can see where you at. <laughs> twist it in a style. Rock your locks. Twist it. Twist. Retwist your own hair. Ooh. Okay, hi, hey, girl from Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, and I had got it. I talked to them. Um... I found out who they was, Terry and Melissa. Remember when they was on the thing the other day, and they were saying that they uh love. Ah, uh, get them out because you put emojis, but you ain't saying that. Which one? We had a question going on. Retweet. Oh, grandma, grandma, they killing you. They killing you. The twist is, is killing. Shoot, I might need some extra hair for that win. I need that. All right, we're going to go with the retwist. We'll see how that play out. But those are the updates from the doctor and just general activities. And I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know how to uh, do it on YouTube. But what I will do is make a post after we hang up. Um. Everybody over here uh, know what's going on. And I thank um, the uh, people that have made a few donations towards the event. Thank y'all so much. Anybody that um, has anything pertaining to the Butterfly Nation or butterflies, because um, that's what it's all about. And... Um, I would like for y'all to wear Sunday or send me a picture and represent for the Butterfly Nation. So I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Take the Lord with y'all and the rest will follow. It's Friday. We made it through another week, especially the working week. And uh, we just going to ask God to continue to cover us, shield us, and protect us from all that's going on. Yes, from all that's going on. And continue to cover us, shield us, and protect our kids, our neighbors, our family members. Change the heart of the wicked. Change the mind frame of the people in the world. Yeah, because there'd be too much going on. It really, really do. I had a family member, not a family member, but they like family, but we all grew up together. Um, about two weeks, her son, one of us, her, her sons got killed. They, you know, like 18. Then I got up this morning and seen a post where her cousin's son that just got killed. That's within two weeks, the same family. Lord, just give us, you know, just give us strength and just continue to watch over us. So um, y'all pray for our, fam for our families, pray for our nation, pray for the world, and stay blessed. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. The end. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Why y'all still on here? <laughs>